This episode marks the beginning of a new chapter. This roof is going. Odyssey, the truck I'm crossing the Americas in, is getting a complete makeover today. I definitely do not like the look of that. <laughs> oh my God. And it ain't pretty. This is my new car. But first, I need to get her prepped for the work ahead. It's one of the most important days in my calendar for a long time. And of course, I overslept. <laughs> so I now have about 15 minutes to get everything out of the top cupboards of Odyssey, which will be taken off and um, stuff it in the Airbnb where I'm staying right now. So let's see if we can do that. No, <laughs> We're not going anywhere today, no. We're not going anywhere fun. This guy is done. Next up, all my electronics. All my stuff literally just <laughs> rolled out of the car and I just broke my tripod too. So this is getting off to a great start, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's helpful. like this isn't it you've got something really really important on that you've been planning forever and on the day and that it's supposed to happen everything just goes wrong <sighs> I mean you know 31 years in you would have thought one would know how to do adulting it just no doesn't doesn't quite work that way I'm pretty sure that when I was younger and I was thinking about myself at this age. I kind of assumed that someone would give me like, like a playbook, you know, like a book or like a set of cards or like something that explains how to be an adult. You know, that explains all the things, that gives you all the answers, all the answers to how to live and to the meaning of life. I really thought that I would have all of that figured out by the time I'm 31. Well, let me give you a little spoiler if you're not here yet. No one gives you a playbook. It doesn't exist. You just have to keep figuring it out as you go along, all on your own. <laughs> Not only does nobody give you the answers to how to be an adult, it's worse than that. You keep making the same mistakes that you did when you were a kid, like oversleeping or being late or just messing things up. Except that this time, people are less willing to forgive you because they're like, well, you should, you should have known. You're an adult. <laughs> so. That's life for your kids. And it's done. Nice and empty. Ready for our conversion. Wilk is uh, staying at the Airbnb for the time being. He's just a little bit too small to handle a workshop kind of environment. But since I am now an adult and a good dog mom, I'll be back at lunchtime to feed him and take him out and keep him company. Let's do it. that a responsible adult would definitely do before getting their car converted. They would wash it, wouldn't they? So that's what I'm doing. There's no foam coming out of 
this. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, none of this works. Ah, my time is up. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like a You went to switch the settings on this little thing. Cool. Where are my adulting instructions? Someone should come up with that as a product. Everybody would buy it. Because <laughs> nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Nobody has a clue. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go. Oh my god. In that ginormous box was my new home. I know it doesn't look like much just yet, but this is about to become a total game changer in how I travel and live. You guys are literally not losing any time, are you? <laughs> Straight into it. <laughs> this is the end of an era. Soon enough, this little girl is gonna look completely different. Completely different. This is gonna be a game changer. I'm so excited. Step number one it's time to get rid of those ceiling cabinets that served me so well for so long. I definitely felt a little bit emotional seeing them go because they always reminded me of the time that my uncle built them for me. I tell you, the end of an era. But as the Greeks say, Panta Ray, everything flows. At lunchtime, as promised, I headed back to spend a bit of time with Vilk. But seeing his happy little face, I just couldn't leave him again, so I thought I'd bring him back. Well, Odyssey! has left the roof rack floating in the sky. That looks pretty terrifying. She looks kind of strange without the roof rack. Like, extremely incomplete. You are completely not bothered, are you? <laughs> it's happening. We're doing it. This roof is going. Ah! Oh my God. Definitely do not like the look of that. Absolutely horrifying to watch. So nerve wracking. I mean, imagine someone. Ah! Oh my god, that sound! Jeez. Imagine someone taking the roof off your house and it's like, it's just, oh my, it just does not look right. You're like, what the hell is going on here? Oh my god, it looks like she's about to fall apart without a roof. It's like the roof is the only thing holding her together and all the walls will just go like flop to the sides <laughs> any second now. How's it going? Good. Ready to pull it out. Are you sure it's good? <laughs> Are you sure? It's very good to watch. Once you've done a couple like not that daunting. <laughs> there goes the roof of my house. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I feel like I should just leave her like that. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Convertible defender. <laughs> I love it. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Pretty cool. Should we just leave her like this then? What do you think? On to Alaska? Thankfully, this is only step one. <laughs> we will be replacing the roof. It looks like the new roof is coming in. I just, it's so hard to believe that you can do that to a car, like completely gut it. Take off the roof, make it into a convertible, and then put a whole new roof on it with some very cool gadgets in it. Well, come in, please. <laughs> is this your new home, Bean? Yeah. Yeah, this is your new home. <laughs> Yeah, 
you have no idea how relieved I am to see that this is going on top right now. <laughs> this is my new home. I know I just made it look like it took 10 minutes, but after a few days, the work was finally done. The Aloe Cap is a really special, pretty genius product. It basically transformed Odyssey from a car that had a rooftop tent on it to a car that became the rooftop tent. I'll show you how it works in just a few minutes. And by the way, you can get it installed on various kinds of Land Rovers and Toyotas. First, I want to get everybody's views on the conversion. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's probably one of my favorite products, the pop tops. Yeah. For the interior living space, plus it's on the Defender. So what do you think? Do you think I'll be safe in going to Alaska with this thing on? Yeah, it'd be much better than a rooftop tent. <laughs> much warmer. What does Bella think? Is she happy with the build? Are you happy? She loves it. She loves it? <laughs> what do you think, Justin? I think it's great. What do you think? Good? <laughs> oh, stretch. <laughs> I've never heard you make that sound. Woo! Woo! What do you think? I love it. I think it's gonna be a huge upgrade. Yeah? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier to set up and you can make a quick getaway if you have to. I can't believe it. It's done. It's finally done. I remember the first time I saw one of these pop top roofs. It was just over a year ago on a friend's car, on a friend's Defender in Poland when I first got Odyssey. And I just thought it looked so cool. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I guess I just didn't expect that a year later it would actually happen. So, you wanna take a look? All right, let's do it. After all the work had been done by Rin and Justin in the workshop, it was time to test the Owl Cab for the very first time in the wild. Would it really be the game changer I had hoped it to be? Would it even work? I was about to find out. Do you want to see a magic trick? I call it the disappearing act. Well, here is the rest of my junk that I do not know what to do with just yet. Here's a blanket. Ta-da! Let's clean this place up a little bit, shall we? I think it's time to pop her open. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I've seen other people struggle with it a little bit because it's quite heavy. So let's see how I manage. Let's do it. <laughs> you ready, little boy? <laughs> I think you're ready to take a nap. Okay. So, these are the first two latches that I need to undo and then everything else follows. What do you think? Are you impressed? Mm. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but that's not everything. There's step two. And this, this is the true wow factor. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm so ready. <laughs> so you push these two cards up. <gasps> All the space in the world. <laughs> Check this out. I can sit and I can stand. I can sit and I can stand. In fact, I can even jump. Oh my God. Look, it's so much taller than me. I can actually jump. 
Inside Odyssey. And I still can't reach the top. Yeah. So this part here is the bed. And I already put some bed linen in it because I'm so psyched about this. So that, that is like just the bed, you know? And it kind of like goes down here. So you can kind of see it's like a whole separate floor inside the car, which is awesome. And then you just kind of push it up to make space. Eee! And then this part here, this is like an extension of the bed or you can use it as basically like a desk, a kind of stand up desk. You can just be standing here and typing up here. And of course, this window opens up. So my new workstation, <laughs> this is such a game changer. This is such a game changer. There's a lot of great products out there for overlanding, but few are as revolutionary and game changing as the Alucab. I'm just so excited about this. Seriously, even laying down and reading a book, having so much open space above me made me feel so much more at peace. This is our new home. Odyssey 2.0, as I like to call her. I'll be honest with you, before this conversion happened, I was a little bit apprehensive. I mean, it's a massive change. But as with any big change in life, I guess it always feels a bit stressful at first. But eventually, you always ease into it, don't you? It just becomes your new normal. No, not that kind of new normal that we all hated. Just your regular life, that's what I mean. Us humans are pretty adaptable and resilient. Much more than we give ourselves credit for. Well, on that note, let's see what it's like to sleep inside Odyssey 2.0 for the first time. We're going upstairs. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go. First floor. <laughs> good boy. Yeah, good boy. Hi. This is our new home. I'm so excited about this. Honestly, this is like a dream. This is a total dream. Such a massive upgrade. Oh. Uh uh, no, don't bite my sock. Ah, uh, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy. There's just one more thing I feel like we need in here to make it really cozy. Fairy lights, of course. <laughs> Tangled mess. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, go to sleep. You go to sleep. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't need your help, actually. Lights, camera, action. <gasps> yes! 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 <laughs> well, first impressions, it's huge. This is like utter luxury to just be in such a big space and be able to go like directly into the car that's just amazing it feels like a completely different living setup and oh i'm so happy this is gonna be a game changer for alaska with all the bears and really for traveling anywhere it's so much safer so much bigger so much more comfortable than the setup i had before so i'm excited we just need to personalize it a little bit because it it's looking a little bit gray We'll get there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have some tea. That's life on the road for you. Sometimes you bathe in a lake. 
Other times you get a whole new shower cabin. We'll talk about that in another episode. Anyway, the point is things change. You adapt. I think one of my greatest insights from this chaotic and ever-changing lifestyle is to just flow. Ah, when you get a dog, why does nobody warn you about the amount of mud and dirt that you will always and forever be covered with from the minute you get your dog? Forever, always. <sighs> and sure enough, recording this, I have mud all over my face too. Great. <laughs> And whether that means learning how to adult step by step or changing your living setup completely. Anyhow, this is a huge change for me. And there's even more coming up next week.